Good morning, Sea of Galilee. Water's a little choppy this morning. Hope it's gonna be a nice day for our pilgrims here from Spirit Catholic Radio. Everybody's down for breakfast here at Ron Beach. This spectacular breakfast. Good morning. So here's all three of our beautiful buses lined up. Look at that, ready to go this morning. Bus one, bus two, bus three, all identical brand new buses. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wonderful. For those of you that don't know who I am, I am the executive director for the Spirit Catholic Radio Network. Yay! I've had that privilege now for uh, 17 and a half years. So this is our fourth trip with Steve and Janet Ray. We came here on our 10th anniversary, so we're back for our 20th, so we're glad that you're here. All of our Nebraskans, raise your hand. Iowa, Nebraska, all of you, great. All of our other guests that are here with the pilgrimage, if you raise your hand, should be 14 of, wow, there's, oh, let's see. I think you, uh, yeah, let's hear where you're from. Uh, Los Angeles. Here's Amr, our fearless leader. And here comes the gang, Father Ryan and Hello. Tom and Tim, and here comes the gang. This way you can see back home that your whole family, they made it. We're on our way up to the Church of Cana, first day. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> well, look at these happy pilgrims. Good morning, Columbus, Nebraska. Go Big Red. Go Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> look at this beautiful group of pilgrims here. <laughs> look at this beautiful group of pilgrims. Now your families will know you're here and oh, safe and join us. <laughs> hello, hello. There's Father Andrew. So the station is for How you doing? church going down the steps and this is the first century Cana we're gonna see the ground level in the first century next we had a renewal of wedding vows always a very emotional and wonderful time for our pilgrims do you renew and re reaffirm your wedding vows once again do you promise to love and to honor in good times and in bad in sickness and in health for better or for worse all the days of your life I do. Wives, please respond, I do. I renew and reaffirm my wedding vows to you. I once again promise to love and honor you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for better and for worse all the days of my life. I do. What God has joined together, let no one set apart. And if you have your rings with you, I'll go ahead and bless those as well, Lord. In, just keep them on your fingers. Lord, increase <laughs> the love which these married couples have for one another. The wedding rings they once exchanged are the sign of their fidelity. May they continue to prosper in the grace of the sacrament. Almighty and eternal God, you have so exalted the unbreakable bond of marriage that it has become the sacramental sign of your son's union with the church as his spouse. Look with favor upon these married couples. 
whom you have united in marriage as they ask for your help and protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary. They pray that in good times and in bad they will grow in love for and be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. You may kiss the bride. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Back on the bus. Here's from the back of the bus to see what they're seeing. We arrive in Nazareth, and we get off the bus and go to the Church of Annunciation. That is very important, and remember that. So that is the reason why this verse is right there to remind us. Verses from the Bible the to explain right the Annunciation you know, and the you might want to ask me Incarnation. What are the two hands and the cross that you see there, That's, that is the symbol of the Franciscans Universal. Our group is now going down in the Church of Annunciation to the Grotto of the Annunciation. This is where the angel spoke to Mary and said, Hail, full of grace. There's an altar in there that says, The Word became flesh here. Here. The Word became flesh. And they're on their mats and they get up what do you think the first thing is the Holy Family did together Pray. is that the first thing you do in the morning <laughs> aha now all of a sudden you realize these are real human beings they're not floating above the ground Mary Jesus and Joseph got up in the morning the first thing they had to do is use the toilet <laughs> now you live in a cave where do you use the toilet you have to go outside this is a plaque below the altar it says he came back and submitted to his family here this is where Jesus submitted to his family here. And our group is now down in the grotto under the church of St. Joseph, where the Holy Family lived just one level more below us. We go back a few yards to the Church of the Annunciation for Mass. What a beautiful Mass it was. Prayers on Friday. They're all here in the courtyard. Look at them all bowing to pray. Next, we arrive with our three beautiful buses at the YMCA, a center of Christian culture here in Nazareth for lunch. It was a great lunch. Everybody enjoyed it. see for the first time the Mount of Transfiguration in front of us. It's called Mount Tabor. And yes, this is our next stop. We're going to the top of this mountain, the Mount of Transfiguration. 
and you can see the switchbacks that we have to go up here in this picture. The taxis go up, winding back and forth to the top. Here's our taxi driver. There are some folks getting off the third bus. We're already in the taxis on our way up, and we have the best taxi driver. <laughs> like down there. There we go, 1,900 feet to the valley below, Jezreel Valley. And this one. How you doing, everybody? Here we've arrived at the top of the mountain and there is the Church of the Transfiguration. passage at the end of Matthew, very significant, the last three verses, it says, Behold, I, all authority has been given unto heaven and earth, given to me. Therefore, go out into all the nations, baptizing, making disciples of all the nations, and lo, I am with you, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. Remember that passage? Where do you think he said that? He said that up here. Because if you go two verses earlier, it says, Jesus, after the resurrection, said to his apostles, meet me at the mountain in Galilee. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Here we are on the top of the mountain waiting for our taxis to take us back down and back on the bus and heading back to our hotel for some free time. And we've arrived back at our beautiful Ron Beach Hotel. And we're going to have an hour and a half free time to enjoy the sea and to rest. And then we'll have dinner at 6.30 and the rest of the evening free. Well, we're back at our beautiful Ron Beach Hotel. Everybody has a seaside balcony view of the Sea of Galilee here. Some are going to go swimming in the pool, they told us, and some might want to go swimming in the sea. It's a little dark, but we have the rest of the day free for people just to relax. Hour and a half before dinner, and then the rest of the evening free, too. Good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.